New video from the Caribbean shows the sheer strength of Hurricane Irma. The Category 5 storm roared through the island of St. Martin this morning with 185 mile per hour winds. The storm left behind a trail of damage, destroying boats in a harbor, leaving cars stranded in flood water. Irma is expected to become the second powerful storm to hit the U.S. mainland in as many weeks, but where it'll go is still unclear. And as we mentioned last week, UW Madison has an important role in tracking these storms. Back with us today is Jonathan Martin, professor and chair of Oceanic and Atmospheric Sciences at UW Madison. Good to see you again, Jonathan. Good to see you both. It's amazing you're back so soon. You yeah, were I'm just sad here. That I am. Yeah. yeah, you were just here recently to talk about Hurricane Harvey. How is Hurricane Irma different? Irma is a stronger storm. It also uh, has about the same dimensions, a couple of hundred miles or several hundred miles across, uh, but it's a much more intense storm. I, the last time, I'm not sure there was a last time, that a storm has reached Category 5 strength, which is the strongest that it can be assigned, and lasts at that level for a couple of days, maybe three days uh, of, of time. I, I can't think of a time in, in uh, my interest with, with weather where I've noticed that. What's fueling that? A uh, lot of warm water, and it's deep warm water in the Caribbean. So, um, and when it gets to the so-called Straits of Florida, which is right along where the Keys are, that's sometimes some of the deepest warm water in the entire Atlantic Basin can be right there. So there's no reason at all to suspect, unless it makes landfall on one of the major islands in the Caribbean, it looks like it's going to skirt by Puerto Rico, north coast of Cuba too. So it's not going to hit any of the really big ones. That's what tends to weaken them. The water is really warm down there, and the deep water is, is, deep, is, is also warm. Can you put in perspective for us uh, how strong winds in a Category 5 hurricane are? It's, it's rather hard for any of us to really understand that. I think you know, we were just talking earlier, maybe it's kind of the, the same kind of winds that you might see around an EF4 tornado, uh, wow. but they're sustained. And uh, for, you know, if, if the thing takes several hours to go by your location, it's several several hours, 7 to 10 to 12 hours of that kind of intensity. And you're chances are you're not going to survive that. I don't think so. I don't think any structure, any reasonable structure is going to have a really hard time with that. Water is, if you're near water, the water is going to rise to exceptional levels and then be blown around by those kinds of winds. So you get waves on top of the, of the surge itself. So you don't want to be in the path of a storm like that. You simply don't want to be in its path. But for these Caribbean islanders, there's not a lot, not, not many places to go. The there's options, higher ground. Yeah, the options are limited. And, this, and some of the islands do have higher ground, but not all of them do. Some of them are so small, they're, they're almost like atolls, and they just get devastated by this. You look at this video, and this goes on for hours and hours. Yeah, it's just hard to imagine. It is hard to imagine until and unless you experience it. Well, you've been studying storm science for a long time. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Uh, Category 5 storms are rare to begin with. And as I mentioned, uh, having one stay at that intensity, that extreme intensity for days, is really pretty unbelievable mm -hmm. and unusual. One of my um, uh, colleagues who works down at the Weather Channel in Atlanta has this new idea about the so-called eyewall replacement cycles. And this is something that's rather a hot topic in hurricane research. It's a little bit off my, my uh, expertise. But he was confidently saying to another of my colleagues at the department that there's not going to be any eye wall replacement cycle in this storm, and so far that's true. And when those things happen, they tend to uh, produce fluctuations in intensity. First a decrease in intensity, then maybe another intensification. This is roared away at five, category five for a day, and it's got two more days to go. Probably. And you're talking about the eye getting bigger and smaller? Bigger and smaller, that's right. This is just staying big. It's just staying big, and it's, uh, it's presenting us with beautiful pictures from space. I mean, you just can't beat this storm for for its educational and it, the natural beauty of it from a distance. But if you're up close, there's nothing beautiful about this. If you had relatives in Florida, South Florida, near the ocean, what would your advice be? I think I'd be telling my relatives in Florida, first, if they're on the Keys, and I think the governor's done this, mm -hmm. get out of the Florida Keys, because mm -hmm. they're going to be inundated on Saturday, Sunday. If I had a relative in Florida, I'd say get as far to the northwest of the, in the state as you possibly can, you know, up in the panhandle. That is probably the least uh, likely spot for hit of, a, of at intensity of the storm, although that's a little bit unknown right now. And when will we know for sure when it starts heading north? Well, we're how many days are we? We're, we're three or four days away from the beginning or middle of the weekend. It's going to take a northward turn. If it takes it early, it it barrels into the North the Carolinas with full fury. If it takes it where, where the expectation is now, it'll go from Miami straight up the middle of the peninsula towards Atlanta. By the time it gets to Atlanta, it's a lot weaker of a storm and a lot of rain still. And if it takes the turn late, it'll go from Miami across the peninsula to Tampa and then up toward Tallahassee. So that's the way it looks now. It's going to be bad no matter what. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Right. I think so. That's right. All right, Jonathan, well, 
We'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, we might. We might. There's another one out there too, right? Jose, Jose is uh, just about to turn oh, a hurricane wow. today. Yeah. All right. Yep. We'll keep an eye on things. Great All to right. see you. Thanks for hey, coming nice in. Nice to see you. Thank you.